Hello, my name is Brenda. My channel is Handwork Maniac. I was supposed to make this video on January 2nd. I promised you I'd do just a regular update video and tell you what I had done for the 12 by 12 on New Year's Eve. And then I was really sick and completely lost my voice. So I couldn't do any videos that day. So my voice is mostly back in the past few days. So I figured it was time to get the videos made. Um, I will also do a video of what the new winter stuff is on the wall right after this. All right, so I did my whip parade with cat. Oh, and today is, sorry, today is January 16th, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Um, on December like 29th, I did a whip parade with my daughter, Catherine. That was so fun and showed you all of my projects. <clears throat> so I'll just show you what I have worked on since then and then talk about what I did on New Year's Eve. Um, I had, there were six, four or five projects that I started new during Christmas break that are kind of New Year starts for me, but I start them um, usually before that because my Christmas break this year ended on January 2nd. Well, I was back to work on January 3rd, but I wasn't because I was homesick. But normally I would be back on January 3rd. So my time to start new things and get a lot of stitching in mostly happens this year, at least before New Year's Day. So I started them during the break, but I count them as New Year's starts. So I decided to, in, to work on all of the new stuff on New Year's Eve, the stuff I had already started. And I think I started at least... I might have started two new things as well on New Year's Eve, but it all added up to six. I had six new starts during the break. And then I wanted to work on um, the big round zipper on New Year's Eve because it was the next one I was trying to get finished. So what I did was I'd work on the big round zipper and then I'd work on one of the new ones for an hour and then I'd go back to the big round zipper for an hour and then I'd work on one of the new ones for an hour. So I just switched them all night long so that I had six new ones that I was working on and then I worked on big round zipper in between every one of those for the 12 hours from noon until midnight. Um, 12 by 12 was hosted by Kia B on Instagram. She's Kia B Quilting. Uh, her Floss tube channel is Kia B, K E A B E E, and then also by Pam of uh, Just Keep Stitching. Her Instagram is PG Soap. So that was really fun um, activity to do that night. It was a fun thing to do on New Year's Eve. I really enjoyed it. So I can't remember. I think I started this during the break, not on New Year's Eve, but I can't remember now. It's been too many days. This is Seasons of the Heart Winter by the Blue Flower. My dad is making me a wooden frame that will hold two six by six projects in it. So I have picked two projects that I'm going to make fit in the six by six sections. So this is one of them. I did that fox last night. I just think he is so cute. This is Be Stitch Me 46 Count Lunar. It's a lovely gray. And it was, I thought it was perfect for this. Um, she does have all four seasons. The blue flower, this one's the winter one. I might stitch all of them. They're just so pretty, so gorgeous. I love that quail. I'm thinking maybe these are poinsettias, these big red flowers. Not sure what these white ones are. Something that blooms in the winter time. And then the other piece I'm going to do to fit in that frame that I haven't started yet is Winter Quail by the Blue Flower. 
and I'll do it on the same uh, color fabric. Seasons of the Heart is all DMC and I'm using the called for DMC. This one, Winter Quail, is all um, fancy floss. Here's the list. And I'm excited to work with them. They're such fun threads. There's silk and colors, Swedish, Swedish blue and white, dinky dyes, cobar, mud flats, wood, a whoop whoop. <laughs> this, <laughs> this one, and Gloriana Pewter Dark. So these beautiful silks. And then the scarf is threads that are laid on top and kind of woven. And that is Specialty Silk and Colors Aurora Floss. It's fuzzy and sparkly and it just looks so cool. This is the color um, Desert Moss. The type is Aurora Floss by Silk and Colors. That's this fuzzy, sparkly, cool thing. And then the color is Desert Moss. I just think that's gonna be so fun and gorgeous. I didn't do all of that on New Year's Eve or over the break. I've worked on it several times since then. Okay, this one I did start on New Year's Eve. This is a chart that I bought from Gigi R in France. So oh, at least 10 years ago. All about the letter B. It's charted monochromatic, just one color. And I saw, I was watching all of the whip parades, of course. I love all of the whip parades this time of year. I just watch one after, I, I watch every single one I can find. But I was watching the Steadfast Stitcher. She's new to me. Hello, I enjoy her videos so much. And one of her she was working on a French type sampler and I should have gone back to see what the name of it was, but I didn't. But she was using this DMC variegated floss. It's 4515 and sometimes it's called Paris. And it's blues and browns. And she was using it on that sampler and I just, I had to stop the video. I was just like, that is so gorgeous. So I had this GGR pattern in my stash. I've had it forever. And decided to do it with that variegated DMC floss. And this is how far I am so far. I've also worked on this since then. I think this was the part that I got done during New Year's Eve and then I've worked on it since then for Bringo. Bringo with the Magazine Monthly Facebook group um, is another bingo board and you have all of your pieces on the different days and they had to match a prompt and then she calls to one number every day and you needed, you're supposed to get at least 100 stitches in on it. If you get behind, you can get caught up. But that was just a fun activity for January. EJ of the Sunshine Stitchers is also doing it. She's done it for several years. I always enjoy watching her progress. So I thought this year I would do it too. All right. Uh, I can't remember if I started. I started this somewhere, either during the break or on New Year's Eve. It is the Haberdashery by Doreen Jones. If you buy just 
the PDF chart. It's Haberdashery Shop. It was also in a magazine. Hang on. Cross Stitcher Magazine, March of 2021. And in the magazine, it's called Stitching Heaven. But I've been wanting to start to try some pre gridded fabric. But I didn't want to start something huge. But this is a full coverage piece, but it's not very big. It's like a hundred something by a hundred something. So I thought it would be a great one to try out my pre-gridded fabric on. Just looking to see if I could see the stitch count. But of course I can't. Nope. Oh, here it is. 121 by 181. It's charted with DMC. I'm using the called for DMC. Uh, this is 25 count pre gridded even weave. And I'm doing one strand of floss, full cross. And this is the whole width of the pattern. I've made it clear to the edge over here. It will be a little bit longer, but I think it's all going to fit in this 11 by 11 Q-snap. I have loved working on this one. It's been so fun. And I do like the pre-gridded fabric. It's a little different than when I mark it myself, because when I mark them myself with a, a disappearing ink marker, I mark between the threads when I mark the 10 by 10 grids, but when it's printed like this fabric is, it's printed on a thread. So I just have to get used to remembering that where the line is gonna be. It doesn't have a huge amount of colors compared to like a heaven and earth design. It's only this many and they're all DMC. This um, this particular pre-gridded fabric that I have, there are several companies that make it, but this one you soak in warm water for an hour when you're completely done and the lines disappear. Okay, this one I started over the break. To Santa's Secret. It's a dimensions kit. Dimensions Petite, Gold Collection Petite. Started this with my friend Kim and my daughter Marie. And my daughter Marie is almost already completely done with all of Santa. She's so close. She hasn't started on the tree yet. It's looking so amazing. But she says she's gonna put it away now till next Christmas. Her YouTube channel is Stitchy Marie and on Instagram, and she just did a whip parade earlier this week. So don't miss that. This is what I have so far. And then I started two prairie schoolers during the break. My friend Kim saw this at the Craft Center of Fine Stitchery while she was out here for Stitch West. That's my local needle workshop in Salt Lake City. And is it this one? Yes. It's one of the prairie schooler Santas, 2012. Yes, 2012. And she saw it on the craft at the craft center stitched on 18 count linen Ada. So she bought a piece of it for me and this pattern. And I decided I needed to start it right away. I love the price schooler Santas. But then when we were at Shepherd's Bush, for Stitch West while we were here. We also saw how they do it on, they do the Prey Schooler Santas on this seven count Clostern. 
And so they're huge, and then they make them into pillows. So this is the 2020 Santa. I love this one with those bunnies and that wind. Oh. And I'm doing that one on, I think it goes this way, on this seven count clostern. So it will be quite large and it will be made into, I'll add some fabric around the edges and make it into a pillow, like a big pillow to put on your, like a couch pillow. So I thought it'd be so fun to do them both at the same time and compare the size while I'm working on them. Oh, and it's done with number five, no, number three, the great big stuff, pearl cotton. Let's check and make sure I'm saying that, that I'm telling you true. Yep, number three. It is all number three pearl cotton to stitch that one which comes in the same colors as DMC. All right, so those were my six new ones that I worked on on New Year's Eve. And then every other hour I worked on the big round zipper. By Bent Creek. This was part, it comes in six different kits. Uh, this was part one that comes with the fabric. Each kit has the number five pearl cotton in it to stitch it with. This is what it looks like all done. It comes with 18 count um, a natural burlap colored linen and you do over two threads so that's nine stitches per inch. They're quite large stitches which is why the kit comes with number five pearl cotton to stitch it with. I am using the pearl cotton that came in the kits, but I changed the fabric to 25 count potato even weave. And I'm stitching over two threads So it'll be 12 and a half stitches per inch. And I worked on these darling skyscrapers during on New Year's Eve. This one has been so fun to work on. And I also want to make this into a round couch pillow. Apparently I'm just going to have pillows everywhere. Okay, and then since the project for Bringo changes every day, I've worked on lots of just random stuff as well as since New Year's Eve. And my, you know, new rotation for January. Oh, I was supposed to give you a report on 20, how I did on my 23 finishes by 2023. I finished. 14, I believe. Let me look. The last one I finished was uh, the flower shop, and that was 14. So I finished 14 of the 23 by 2023, which I thought was awesome. I will keep working on the rest. If you want to see my, I did a parade of the 23 pieces I wanted to finish by the end of the year, probably in October, I want to say and showed you all 23 pieces. The title of the video is Frenzy of Finishes 23 by 2023, something like that. So I finished over half, which I thought was great. I'll keep working on the rest of them and they'll probably be finishes this year because they were all the ones that were closest to a finish last year. This is Fairy Square by Carolyn Manning Designs. Mine is on 46 count Be Stitch Me Frost. I have done a color conversion. So it is not the called for colors. 
Some of them are. So my colors, this is a mock-up without the back stitching. This is what the colors I'm using. I worked on this for one day for Bringo. And was able to finish up this mushroom house right here. I'm working on the puffs of smoke that are coming out of the chimney. This one is the Prairie Schooler ABCs project. There's about three letters in every leaflet. They're just called STU or ABC. I have all the letters. I'm doing them all on one piece of fabric, which is a 28 count cream colored linen. I don't know exactly what it is. Somehow I didn't get that written down. And I worked on this for Bringo as well and was able to finish C for cow and I started on D for drum. I'm doing one over one with DMC on 28 count. I think this one was for the prompt, reminds me of my childhood because of all of the nursery rhymes on there. And I worked on Patchwork Sampler by Jan Houtman. Mine is on 46 count antique white linen. And I am just using a whole bunch of random floss colors in purples, blues, and greens. I pulled all of the ones I had out of my stash. Most of them are silks, but not all of them. And then whenever I go visit a stitching store, I buy a few more. I started this one right here and worked on it this month for Bringo one day, and then I also worked on it another day. This one is not a silk. This is a cottage, cottage garden samplings thread. That is so pretty. Let's see what color it is. Maybe, maybe not. My goodness, bird bath. It is cottage garden threads, bird bath blue and purple. I worked on this crazy life from the Crazy Woman by Cricklewood Crossing from the Crazy Woman Stitching Retreat that was next to the Crazy Woman River. That's why it was called that in Casper, Wyoming. This was the beautiful kit we got from Cricklewood Crossing. And I, this was my Bringo prompt that had a bird in it, because it does have a beautiful bird in it. Mine is on 46 count. No, it is 40 count. Picture this plus pewter. This one was a new start. The Bringo Challenge was a new start from a magazine that day. And this one was in World of Cross Stitch Magazine, May 2019. In the magazine, it's called Sweet Like Chocolate, but the top of the page says Chocolate Hanging. I'm not sure what its actual title is, but this is what it, it's by Emma Congdon. And this is what it looks like. 
it does have half stitches and it does have a lot of back stitching but I just thought it was so awesome although it's gonna make me want to eat chocolate every time I work on it and I started it on one day for Bringo and then I worked on it another day as well so that's more than one day's progress It is on 32 count <laughs> white linen, which is actually a piece of fabric flare that I have that goes from a green to a blue. But I really wanted some 32 count white to do this on, so I'm doing it on the back side. <laughs> uh, Kim, I'm using the back side of the printed fabric because I like that color better for this particular project. This was my, one of my, oh, Patchwork Sampler was one of my Whip Go calls for January. And then this is my other Whip Go call for January. It is Mystery Marquois by Isabel Hockart Vautier. If you search this, do a search for this title in print, in quotes, and her name on Google, You'll find the link in France if you it's still available to purchase. It is charted in two colors, red and then a lighter red as a highlight around these, just around the letters on the edges. Mine is using Gloriana in the navy for the main color. I'm highlighting the letters with Treasure, Petite Treasure Braid by Rainbow Gallery in PB10. It's a sparkly, pearly white. And then I am also using Pacific Ocean on the in-between blocks. And just a little bit of shadowing with DMC 644. So... The in between the letters blocks, I just decide what part I'm going to do in light blue and what part to do in the dark in the navy. And then that shading that I'm doing with the E Crew colored, what did I just say it was? 822? No, 644. The 644 DMC, it is not charted. I am just throwing it in there kind of as a few little shadows here and there. And I finished the D and started on this while I've been working on it the last few weeks. That one is so pretty. Kingdom of Books is a kit, a Russian kit. If you translate the name of this company, it's Make It With Your Own Hands. I am stitching this with my friend Sharon. We're trying to do a half a book a month. I am not stitching this background and I am not stitching this shelf, this wooden shelf down here. I am stitching just a few rows of it to give the a shadow to the books and to anchor them. And I am doing just a little bit around the houses so that you can see the white. Some of them have white detail up there. So it needs a little bit of that dark background behind it to show the white. It came with 14 count Ada in the kit. I'm using an 18 count Ada that's over dyed to kind of be this color. And we have made it to the very middle of the pattern. We started on the left hand edge. And this month I need to fill in behind the gates. I finished the gates and now I'm just doing the the landscape behind the gates. But I need to get that done by the end of the month. This one has been such a fun one to work on. This is a heaven and earth design called Autumn. I call it Autumn Cat just to lessen the confusion of all of my projects. Mine is on 25 count 
moss even weave one over one full cross goes this way I started in the middle of the cat's back and I'm working down I was able to finish this section down here that apparently was left half done and then I finished this section right here the colors in that one are just oh stunning I just thought of a couple more I worked on, rats. I also worked on Lenarte Four Seasons. This is a kit, a Lenarte kit, and it has all four seasons on it. I started in the middle so that I could just go up and work on whatever season we were in during that season. And I had started all the other three seasons, but I had not started winter yet. So I came down and started working on these group of leaves right here. I won't take it out of the Q-snaps this time because it's so big. You can go back to my whip parade, which is the last video I made, and see the whole thing out of the Q-snaps. But I started, I had to work on the um, flower pot just so I could get down far enough to get to winter and then started on these, these leaves. And that was fun to work on that one. Using the kit floss and the kit fabric, two strands, it's an even weave, two strands of floss over two fabric threads. I can't remember if it's 28 or 32 count that it came with the kit fabric. This one is a kit by RTO called Roasted Chicken with Mashed Potatoes. It came with 16 count Ada, but I am doing it on 36 count Antique White Even Weave, but I am using the kit floss. And I was able to come up and work quite a bit in here. This was a Bringo call one day. Ooh, oh, a gift, the, the, something that's gonna be a gift for someone else. That one has been so fun to work on. Uh, one strand of floss over two fabric threads. Pandemic was a Bringo call as well. It was my favorite fabric, I believe. And I added this squirrel, extended this down a lot further, um, stitched this bird, just worked on it for one day. You can see it all out of the key snaps on the whip parade. Oh, I'm using 36 count even weave, antique white even weave, and I am using Sulky Thread, S-U-L-K-Y, 12 weight. I'm using one strand over two fabric threads. It just comes off the spool as one strand. It's kind of like pearl cotton. Uh, this is the color Cactus, or 4086. And then I'm using 1095 for the animals. And then I'm doing the back stitch in one strand of DMC that matches, which is 520 and 3810. All right, let me go get those other two projects is a stitching shelf. It's a heaven and earth designs pattern. The artist is, oh, her name just escaped me, Amy Stewart. I have started over here and I'm working down this way. Lily is gonna be shocked that I actually worked on this. I 
I was able to finish up this column and then came down a little further on this one. This is the beginning of a fan, beautiful oriental fan. Using one strand of floss on 25 count even weave full cross over one thread, one over one. And it was actually three projects that I forgot. I probably forgot more. That was a bringo call for my largest project. That one's the largest. This one was a bringo call for someplace I would like to travel to. And this is the Main Street Electrical Parade by Atomic Tiki Pins on Etsy. You can do it with or without the beads. I am doing all the beads. It's a lot of beads. And I'm using 18 count blackboard Ada. I started up in the corner, so I'm working on one of the turtles. So this part is all beaded. And then this part so far, I've just done the stitching. I worked more on the brown circles, orangey brown circles in his back. Oh, there you go. You can see those beads sparkle. Using the called for DMC um, two strands of floss over one Ada square. And then the current Catherine Theron piece that I'm working on on Saturday mornings is Bless This House. This is a class piece. You have to take the class from her to get the kit. And I finished another, no, strawberry and finished all these little strawberries and put in some more of the back stitching. And has a lot of this is Montenegrin stitch. The strawberries are queen stitches. So that was fun to get back to that one. Okay, what else? I do have lots of stuff that I have purchased or got for Christmas and some stitchy kindness, but I do not have that nearby right now. So I'll do that on my next video. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.